If you like your comedy short, fast, and funny, you've come to the right place. Comedy Time presents Quick Laughs, guaranteed to make you laugh in 30 seconds or less. Hey, what does a Superman and a blood gang member who forgot his gun at home have in common? Neither one of them want to see any crypt tonight. <laughs> Quite a few kids, actually. I got remarried a couple years ago. I now have a blended family of five kids. Thank you. Two, two factory and three aftermarket. People freak out, too. They go, oh man, how are you ever gonna afford to get five kids through college? Easy, they're all gonna make it to college. <laughs> Did you guys know that 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the point at which snowboarding becomes waterboarding? crowd. <laughs> I told that joke to a bunch of European kids at a youth hostel one time and they were like, yeah, we are. <laughs> I was the kind of person to walk up to a Titanic survivor and be like, so when's the next cruise? <laughs> I think the worst thing about uh, breaking up with a girl is um, I would still get her emails which sucked. And uh, thank God it finally stopped because um, she finally changed her password. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, I'm Vietnamese. That's the type of Asian I am. This is Vietnamese. And I came up with the perfect name for a Vietnamese restaurant. Viet Nam Nam. <laughs> It's the best joke I've ever written. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out how to avoid a DUI. All you have to do is find the guy driving like a complete jerk and drive right next to him. But then I remember the guy who's driving like a complete jerk is almost always the cops. <laughs> People think you're smarter when you get older. Let me tell you something, you get smarter when you get older. Let me tell you, I was 18, I was 50, 30 years went by. I wasn't even paying attention, okay? There's 13 year olds out there smarter than me. You do not get smarter when you get older. You know all you get? Perspective. That's it. All you can do is look back and go, well, I shouldn't have done that crap. That was really stupid. What an idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know that people are getting sick of me because I keep on getting journals as gifts. I think journals are a really polite way to say no one wants to hear it. <laughs> like say it to a book. And maybe when it gets published, I'll read the review in the paper. What's embarrassing is, I take care of my mother. If she's in a wheelchair, she can't really walk. And she wears diapers, because sometimes at night when she has to go to the bathroom, she won't make it in time, right? So she has to go, you know, uh, under diapers. Well, we go to Costco to buy these diapers, right? And what I do is I leave, them, I leave my mom in the front, you know, when I go shopping, I do all shopping in the cart. And then when I'm done, I come and she comes, I bring her to the cart, she checks everything, makes sure everything's there, supposed to be there. The last time I took her, I went, I came back, she checked everything out, she said, where are my diapers? I'm like, oh, I forgot them, let me go get them. So I go and grab this box of diapers, I'm carrying it, come back to the registers, and I get to the registers, the guy looks at me, he's like, hey, aren't you a little bit too young for those diapers? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, man, they're not for me, they're for, and I looked at my mom, my mom's looking at like me like this, like, I'm not gonna put my mom under the bus, right? So look at the guy, I'm like, I drink a lot. <laughs> Unless one person is buying in bulk, a store that sells number one mom mugs is a store that sells lies. <laughs> so this dude, I swear to God, it was like this, right? He was like, uh, yeah. Let me get that number four with a fudge sundae <laughs> and some sprinkles. <laughs> hey, you know what the hell a sprinkle is? Sir, a sprinkle? He's like, yeah, cuz sprinkles. I'm like, oh, you mean sprinkles. I think the first K is silent, I'm not sure. <laughs> Smoked weed once, didn't go so well. Any weed smokers in here? Probably not, probably so. Doesn't really matter though, cuz look, I'm gonna explain what my experience was. 
smoking weed. I only smoked one time, and one time was good enough for me because it made me realize that it's not for me. Like, when you grow up, what do your parents tell you? Eat your vegetables, and you'll be so strong, you can lift up a car. So my mom told me. What she didn't tell me is, if I smoke weed for the first time, the car will lift up itself. That's... <laughs> so I've known Jimmy for a long time, and my, and my mom knows Jimmy and you know, everything. He calls the house because my, my cell phone died. He calls the house phone, and she knows Jimmy. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? How you doing? And a lot of you guys don't know this about Jimmy. As a personal hobby, he collects comic books. Seriously, he's making a lot of money with, you know, with all the comic book movies like The Dark Knight, The Avengers, FF, all those movies coming out. So my mom knows Jimmy. She says, hey, Jimmy, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, I heard you collect comics. <laughs> yeah, Bruce is a comic. We won't pick him up. <laughs> Yeah, he's the darker knight. I came here from New York. On the flight from New York, as soon as, well, you may have heard about this. There's a chewing tobacco company that started advertising that since you can't smoke on airplanes anymore, you should carry chewing tobacco. I know, isn't that disgusting? I would rather have the middle seat between two crack whores. Hey, at least they're skinny. And then did anyone see the, uh, the new Titanic? They released it in 3D. Who saw that? None of you. Oh, you did the same thing as I did. You're waiting for 4D. Yeah, I, I hope that James Cameron re-releases -re it each year in an additional D. 2013, by 2020, it'll be an 8D. And by then, they'll just be chucking salt water on you. And Leo will be sketching you nude. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we dated uh, long distance for three years before we got married, okay? I lived in Las Vegas. Older guy, younger woman walking around Las Vegas, not a big deal. Pretty commonplace, in fact. If anything, I looked paid for. <laughs> here in New York City, are you kidding me? Anything goes in New York City. Nobody bats an eye at us here. But we were in a small town in Illinois taking a walk, and there's these two guys sitting on a bench, and as we pass by, I hear one of them say, is that your dad? So I look up at my husband. He didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. Of course, the old guy doesn't hear it. So I turn around and I say, don't be a jerk. And the guy goes, what? And I said, you know what? I found what you said to be really offensive. I don't know how old you think I am, but my dad is five years younger than this guy. <laughs> I worked in the corporate world for a long time, right? And I tried to take off work for Vogue one time, and my boss goes like this to me, he goes like this, he goes, you know what, Michael? I'm starting to question if you're 100% committed to this job. I'm like, 100% committed to this job? I, uh, I drink seven nights a week, and I live off of Twizzlers and Mountain Dew. I'm not 100% committed to being alive. And I met the most ghetto woman I ever met in my life down here. Like, they down here, they down here. The most ghetto woman I ever met in my life. Like, I was talking to her for a while, right? She told me she was gonna give me her card so I can call her. And I was like, wow, you know, that is classy. She gonna give me her card. Until so she gave it to me, it was written in crayon on an index card. I was like, that is not classy right there. That is not classy. And on her card, her name was spelled L-E-A, right? So I was like, all right, I'm gonna give you a call. Uh, Leah. And when I said that, she got pissed. She said, uh-uh. I know he ain't just mispronounced it in my name. I said, girl, what's wrong with you? It says Leah right here on this card. She said, uh-uh. My name is Ladasha. The way here, I saw a car on the side of the road smashed into a tree with a bumper sticker that read, Jesus is my co-pilot. <laughs> Maybe he should have drove, huh? I don't know, I, I don't know, it was weird having
having a girlfriend. Because like when, you're, when you have a girlfriend, you have to do stupid stuff. Like she made me go to Forever 21. I hate that store. I hate going to Forever 21. Because at Forever 21, there's nothing but delusional 31s. <laughs> Lady, you're not gonna fit in those jeans. Don't do it. Oh, don't. Oh. I can see the scar. I can, oh. No, but I am Angela Johnson. It's actually Angela Nicole Johnson. It's very Latina, right? I. No, not at all, actually. Could you imagine introducing me to speak at the Mexican American Heritage Festival? Señores y señores, bienvenido a mi amiga especial. Angela Nicole Johnson. <laughs> Hi, um, excuse me, it's Johnsonez. Yeah, I can't say it right. I can't win. Like, I'm so afraid of talking to homeless people. I bet recently that sharks have to keep swimming, otherwise they die. They need the oxygen flowing over their gills to stay alive. And all I could think about when I heard this was that I was jealous of sharks for having a better excuse to walk by homeless people than me. <laughs> Hey man, spare some change? No, 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 you know how it is. I gotta keep moving, I got the water, I'll do a lap around maybe. Are you gonna die if I don't give you a quarter? I'm gonna die if I stop here. I was dating a girl for a while. We, uh, we recently broke up. Um, it was a weird breakup though, because like right before we broke up, like three weeks before we broke up, she told me that she loved me and I wasn't necessarily there yet. But you know what I did? I looked her in the eyes, I smiled, and I said, babe, I love you too. Because that's what you do for someone you care about. You look them in the eyes and you lie to their face. <laughs> that is the cornerstone of every successful relationship. <laughs> I just want to get old. I can't wait. I can't wait to like just be over 65. I mean, I'm not like I'm getting older, and I can tell I'm getting older. But I'm not old yet. I want to be old so I can stop caring. Like this is how I know I'm getting old. Like, like this is I'm not old, but I'm getting old because stuff is changing. You ever know stuff about your body that changes, and then you don't really realize it until right. Like every time I sit down, this is what happens. <sighs> You know the worst part? Getting up. <laughs> that didn't happen two years ago. That never happened. I don't, know, I don't know why making my knees bend makes noise come out of my throat. We got in trouble when we were in seventh grade. We started learning about evolution in school, and that pissed off my pastor because evolution contradicts the Bible. Following Sunday, he called every seventh grader up to the front row, right, so he could yell at us basically what we were being taught in school. Let me get out the seventh graders up into the front row, be here. Ha, 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 Vietnam. <laughs> Kids, we got to talk about something you've been studying up in your biology class, here. Ha, 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 ha. Something about evolution? Ha? Not on my watch. Take a look at the word evolution. Tell me what you're helping now. Tell what I hear. Ha? Evolution. Break it down. Evolution. Uh oh. Evolution, 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 evolution. You practice in witchcraft, you us. I don't know. I, here's the thing. I don't like romance films. Do you guys like? Uh, no, no. I don't. I like martial arts films. The fighting films are so great. Don't you feel like starting a fight when you leave one of those? You're just like, oh, oh, oh. Do I oh. me? Next time you're leaving a theater and you know and you get off the elevator and just before the doors close, turn back around and punch someone in the face. Like, what are you gonna do? That'd be great. I'm uh, half Japanese and half uh, Vietnamese, and my mom is from South Vietnam. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with any South Vietnam people, but this is how they found her. <laughs> squatting in a rice field. <laughs> or, or if you don't know any personally, if you open up a National Geographic, this is how we kick it. <laughs> so anywhere, this is how we are. Uh... You ever have somebody call you stupid for, not know, for you not knowing something, but they don't really know it either? Never, never forget, took a girl on a date to Boston Market. 
Now, don't judge me until I tell you on the date the Boston Market, all right? And she says, Clint, I want a number one Kawan chicken. And I said, all right, I can handle that. So I go to the waiter, I said, hey, can I get a number one Kawan chicken? She says, I mean, the waiter looks at me and says, babe, we don't have that. So I told her, I said, yo, they said they don't have Kawan chicken. She's like, are you stupid? And she had, the, she had the nerve, the audacity, the unmitigated gall to curse me out about it, all right? Now, when I'm telling her that they don't have Kawan chicken, she says, are you stupid? Look at the menu, all right? It's peas, it's carrots, it's mashed potatoes and gravy, and it's C A. you mean Cajun, bitch? <laughs> So a bunch of kids just graduated from high school, which is a super thing. I'm so happy for them, except I'm losing my drug dealer who has like dreams of going to college or something. <laughs> I'm really disappointed in that. Women, women, they care about being fat. They care so much that men, I don't know if you know, that women have come up with some sort of device to put under their clothes and stuff their fat. <laughs> Side fat, the back fat, in like a little outfit under their clothes called Spanx. Make their body look smooth. You can't even make a good decision in the club. You like, I'm gonna take her home. You get her home, she unfold like luggage in front of her. What is all of this? I didn't see none of this at the club. So none of it. There are certain things that are accepted by society, like that are socially accepted by everybody, that I, I, I take issue with. I cannot stand it when someone's like yawning in front of you, but they're, they're not doing it all the way. And they're pulling one of these moves. <laughs> you're like, I can see what you're doing. Like, what is that? Like, it's, it, that's dishonest. That's like you're lying to me. That's making me question our whole relationship. And like, especially when they like, they're like doing it through their nose almost, or like, <laughs> like what is that? Or they do the like, they're like, they're like trying to like laugh, like, no. <laughs> you didn't say anything funny. I don't like it. It's, it's rude, okay? It's not polite. Scared of a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff scares me. One thing that terrifies me, becoming paralyzed. You always hear about a guy gets into a car accident, paralyzed from the waist down. Guy falls out of a two-story building, paralyzed from the waist down. You know what you never hear about? Guy gets into a car accident, paralyzed from the waist up. He can walk around fine, he's kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you give that dude a back brace, so he'll be walking around. Proud of myself, I love this time of year because four years ago I made a New Year's resolution to lose weight and I am 72 pounds lighter today because of it. And I am still fat, Jesus Christ. How embarrassing it is to lose 72 pounds and still have man boobs, this is ridiculous. And it's sad, man, I know what my problem is, my diet. My diet is terrible. What you, I work out a lot. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do, okay? This is the body of a man that lifts a lot of weights, then goes home, smokes a little bit of weed for his joint pain. <laughs> then wakes up 30 minutes later covered in Skittles and pork rinds. I don't know how that works. In the gift registries are ridiculous now. I mean, we didn't have one, but I don't even understand why, wedding, why married people even need Presents. So why do they even need, why do the married people need presents? They just had a party. They're in love. They're fine. You know who needs presents? People getting a divorce. They're the ones who need a gift registry. We need a divorced registry. That's fair. I think that plays well for everybody. Some guy gets kicked out of his house, maybe never see his kids again. Probably sleeping with his mom's ottoman. You don't think he'd like, like a George Foreman or a lamp or something? Some sweatpants. You don't think he'd appreciate that? Some of those socks you put on your hands in the winter, you know, I think he'd like it. I like Netflix. I uh, spend a lot of time watching movies on Netflix. I spend a lot more time looking for movies to watch on Netflix. <laughs> I found out they have, uh, they have zombie movies on Netflix. I was watching a zombie movie with a girlfriend of mine, and midway through the zombie movie, she turns me and she goes, Sean, if I got bit by a zombie, would you shoot me? And I didn't know what to say, so I looked at her and I was like, I will shoot you if you keep talking through this movie. 
you. Matter of fact, if you get robbed up in my hometown in Sacramento, if you get robbed and you call up the sheriff's department and say, I just got robbed, could you come down and fingerprint and send some of this stuff to the boys at the lab? They will laugh at you. And when they're done laughing at you, they'll say, we don't have the man hours for that kind of nonsense. And they'll refer you to the website. Yeah, I know. At some point, 911 started telling people, send us an email. But if you fall a little bit too far behind on your rent, they will send somebody from the sheriff's department out to serve you with some papers. So my point of telling you guys this is if you, if you get robbed, don't bother calling the sheriff's department. Just call up the landlord and say, hey, I got robbed. I'm going to be a little short on rent this month. <laughs> and they will get an officer right out to your door. I watch movies sometimes. Um, I check the ratings you know, to make sure that they're clean. I don't get the whole rating system. But what do they mean, brief nudity? Like, that's not the same as regular nudity? It happens so quick it's not counted? You don't know what it was? Like, what if I go on a subway and I drop my pants and I show everyone my yatsmach? But I do it very briefly. I keep it, I keep it real brief. Is that not so bad? Like the other passenger is gonna be like, oh, that's totally cool. It's brief. <laughs> you could even go for another second. 